please applause for the winners of the Silver Bear Jewelry Prize for the best short film, Blue Boy. And these are Manuel Abramovich and Bogdan Georgescu. Please, congratulations. <laughs> Welcome the winners of the Golden Bear for the best short film, Florian Fischer and Johannes Grell with Umbra. Okay, next we have uh, the prize for the uh, GWFF Best First Feature. It goes to the film Orai by Mehmet Akif Buyu Katalai <laughs> and his team, of course. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, we have the winners of the Glashütte Original Documentary Award. And it's the film Talking About Trees by Suhaib Gasmel Bari. Congratulations <laughs> for him, his producer, and some of the protagonists. It was difficult to shoot all the time. It was very complex and complicated to shoot in a country where for 30 years there had not been any film production at all. We lived under the permanent fear of not being able to continue. I never knew whether we would be stopped from one day to the next. The rear thing could not be shown on a screen. It had been too uh, dangerous for the director and for his crew and whatever, to show that. We live in a country where actually cinema uh, is no longer, or does not exist. So our hope in uh, the revival of cinema, of audienceship, of uh, filmmaking is still there and we will stand for it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations again. I hope to see films by all of you, Thank you. in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. We start with the Silver Bear for an outstanding artistic contribution, and this time it's for cinematography. It's for the cinematography of Outstealing Horses. The camera was, made by, was done by Rasmus Fiedebeck. Congratulations. So, uh, when Hans Petter called me in the first place and asked me if I uh, wanted to, um, to make a movie with him, uh, he said that he was going to make a movie uh, based on a very famous Norwegian novel, Our Stealing Horses. And um, coincidentally, that was my favorite book of all times. So uh, it was very easy for me to decide that uh, I wanted to do that, that with him. Every time you choose new people to work with, it's a leap of faith. Uh, we had a great meeting, we had a great discussion, and you just take it from there. And I think, you know, it's like, uh, it's like uh, arranged marriage, you know? <laughs> and, and, uh, and, uh, and sometimes those work out quite well, you know? Next, we have the Silver Bear for Best Screenplay that goes to Maurizio Brauci, Brauci, Claudio Giovannesi, and Roberto Saviano for Piranhas, La Paranza dei Bambini. We want to tell a story of children, kids who at some point in their lives decide to change their lives, and that's when they start a war. That's what we wanted to write about. I hope this film will be beneficial to develop an awareness of the situation. The situation takes place in Naples, in the south of Italy, but it's something that you also find all over the world. We are forced to tell these stories still. We are also approached and people tell us, you tell these terrible, cruel stories, but at the end of the day, these cruel stories exist in real life. It would be nice to just just um, tell happy stories about happy children, but that's not reality. We have the Silver Bear for the best actor and for the best actress. So please, a big applause for Wang Yingchun and Yong Mei for so long, my son. When I saw the screenplay for the first thing, for the first time, I was wondering who my counterpart would be. And I was quite surprised when I heard it was going to be Wang Jingchun because I didn't know too much about him. I wasn't too familiar with him as an actor. I wasn't that happy with the way he looked for the part, actually, honestly speaking. The first time we were on set together, he had a very meticulous approach to I mean, each of his movements. And 
that immediately put me at ease. I had no further doubts. It was just like uh, he'd been my husband for many, many years. You know, it was that same kind of dynamic we had. When I heard I had the part, I was told that Yong Mei would be my counterpart because I was very happy because she is uh, somebody who looks very fine. Well, performance is something very mysterious. You know, we didn't know each other before working on this project, but uh, we had an instant chemistry on set, starting from the very first day of shooting. And yeah, that may still be going on, in fact, today. Uh, it's been a wonderful thing. The film is mostly about emotion. It's about a family, it's fate, and it's unfortunate circumstances and then how it drifts on. It's a very Chinese emotional expression of love and of human life. We tried as far as possible to bring out what the screenplay gives us in emotional terms, what really moved us. China has moved very, very fast over the last four decades. A lot has changed. A hell of a lot has happened. But against this backdrop, the ordinary Chinese person has had to constantly adapt to all these changes that have washed over them. But we're still showing you things from the past. And history should be remembered. It shouldn't be forgotten. So. I hope you have a big applause for the winner of the Silver Bear for Best Director, Angela Schadelek. To be honest, <laughs> um, for me it's really difficult to work because um, films um, need a lot of money. And um, what I hope is that the awards helps me to pay the people who work with me better. Okay, on we go with the Silver Bear Alfred Bauer Prize for a feature film that opens new perspectives. And it goes to Nora Fingscheid and her film's System Crasher, System Sprenger. Since always, I wanted to make a story about like a wild, angry, and energetic little girl because I miss that in cinema. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's very easy to blame like the system or the social uh, state, but what I, happened to me during research is that I only find, I only found people who actually really wanted to help and meant well, mm -hmm. but the structure they have for their work is really hard, so they have to deal not with one child, but with 60 children, and then, yeah, they're not very well respected, they're not very well paid, but if something really tragic happens, everyone points a finger and said, well, what? they shouldn't have taken care. So, yeah, I hope the film doesn't mm -hmm. Uh, blame the people working with children. And the winner of the Silver Bear Grand Jury Prize, Francois Ozon. For grâce à Dieu. It's a film that is fighting for breaking the silence which exists in the Catholic Church in France. The story we are describing is a real story. It actually happened this way in Lyon, and now there is considerable resistance in um, France. I had difficulties producing the film. There was the intent of um, censorship. I don't know if it's going to be shown in the movie theaters. I don't know if people in France will be able to see it, but um, we are fighting. We are continuing to fight against this wall of silence, and we do feel considerable resistance. And that's why this um, award is a great surprise for us. It has given us recognition and will continue fighting. Please, for the people who made the film that got the Golden Bear for best film, synonym Nadav Lapid with his team, with the producer and this main actor. This, this, this movie, this movie was, was definitely the, 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 the hardest movie I've made in my life. Uh, it, it, it brought me moments of unbelievable joy. The shooting, the, shooting, the, the pre-production, the preparations were, for me, the moments, first of all, thanks to Said, 
were uh, for me the, 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 the happiest moments that I knew as a film director. I felt that I'm doing what I was born to do in the way it should have been done. What, what I wanted to say is that, uh, that um, I hope that, that people will not look only at, the, at, the, um, on the, on the, at this film as, as, I don't know, as a kind of a harsh or radical uh, uh, political statement, because it's not. I think that first of all it's, 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 it's a human and existential and, and artistic uh, statement. And, 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 and I think that the film also, as maybe you can... can, can approve is also the celebration and a party of, or at least tries to be a celebration of, first of all, of cinema, and then people are dancing and singing and fighting and kissing and making love and, and talking about politics and about themselves and everything is mixed. So I think, I hope that people will, will, will feel the deep truth when they'll watch the movie, because before and after everything, I think we were concerned by one thing, by the truth of the moment. And we tried to dig as deep as we could, hoping we succeeded. Thank you very much. Um, I would like to congratulate again for the Golden Bear, also for the Fipreski Prize that you also win. Thank you for this film. Thank you. That was the award winners press conference. Thank you very much. Thank you.